So what are some of the most uh, widely held misconceptions about virtual reality and, and what does this uh, speciation do to combat them? I think like um, we spent quite a lot of time in all courses explaining the difference between 360 and model-based VR and I think there are lots of confusion between these two. This is not to say there is no similarity or correlation between these two actually in the future and when technology evolves with photogrammetry and also technology, this actually going to probably become one item. But for now, actually there are two very different approaches to the design and you know, interaction and the graphics and general how, much, how long this whole thing will take um, to produce for each ty different type of VR. So I, we've kind of explained lots of concepts. Uh, what is a 360 degree interaction you can do? What is the model-based VR interaction you can do? So that's one of the things. Um, yeah, and it's not quite a, a misconception, but normally people come to VR from, from a different medium, whether it's games or films, and carry over ideas of the way things work in those media. And often it works, but there are many cases where it doesn't work. So that if you really understand how VR works, it'll be quicker for you to realize, actually, I can't carry this over. I, this is something I have to do in a different way. So I think we want to help people learn, learn those, those differences so that they don't have to learn the hard way. They don't have to sort of make a lot of mistakes. They can, you know, sort of pick like, up and understand. Like we did. <laughs> like we did, like, you know, like, like, like lots of people did, right? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. People don't have to repeat the same yeah. Thing, yeah. And I just want to add one more thing. I think, you know, kind of adding on what Michael said, a lots of, um, you know, people with designing sort of digital experience is they're thinking about 2D media. They're thinking about keyboard, a mouse or Xbox controller, but in VR, just, you know, throw them all away, think about things, how you, how you interact in 3D. And that's actually something we're really familiar with because we interact in the real world in 3D. And we have to actually go back to think about how do I do this in real life rather than how do I do that in 2D game. So I think that's another thing we try to you know, emphasize. Yeah, a lot of the time it's not about VR being like games or being like films, mm -hmm. it's like VR is like real life. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, real life. and also the fact that what is your role in the VR application you design? Because for the users, most of the application I've seen out there outside the research, I look down, I don't see a body there, right? And that, for me, that was a really, really important uh, element because in real life, I'm always very much aware of where my body is. And I think that is also something that's, that's quite important that we spend, um, I think, like a, a quarter of the course on. Yeah.